Hi everyone, I'm Gleb, a Cloud Advocate at Google, and today we will dive into Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG for short, a powerful technique in the world of AI. Generative AI opens tons of opportunities to improve and simplify interactive applications where a touch of creativity and human-like experience are important. You can talk to the app as if it were a real person. Here is a demo of a retail chat application using LLM, large language model, in the background. It helps us to choose different products in the store. We freely communicate and ask about different products. For example, do you have anything for a man who likes long distance running? LLM makes you feel like you are talking to a real person. And that is LLM creativity, which gives us the natural response from the model. Do you have anything for a man like a long distance running. Whoever on this planet likes running even for short distances. <sighs> what about headband selling only for $16.99 helping to keep ears warm and stopping sweat coming to your eyes while you are running? And the answer is great, human, and exactly what I've asked for. But the app will gladly provide an answer without even knowing if the suggested item is sold in the store. Even worse, sometimes it can invent something from the thin air. It is called a hallucination. And it is the other side of LLM creativity, which we want to reduce. Anything else for running folks? What about a treadmill for $15.99? <laughs> so, what do we want at the end? We want Genai to be creative, but at the same time, we want better response. The response which has some ground. So, how can we make a grounded response? One of the common methods is RAG. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. It sounds very smart and sophisticated, but in principle, it is relatively straightforward. This is a way to add your accurate, precise data to a LLM prompt and instruct it to use that data when it makes the response. In a nutshell, we augment the prompt and direct LLM to use that augmentation data. How does it work? Let's go step by step using a simplest RAC approach. We put a request in our app. For example, can you help me find a gift for a 14 years old boy who likes sports. Application is using LLM to find out what exactly we are asking. There is a special term for that, intent. You might ask about the weather or just say hi. And in such a case, workflow would revert to a direct LLM response since the topic has shifted from the designing intent to discuss the products in the store. So the intent defines whether we use one or another way to use our sources of information or entirely skip them. Then recognizing that the request is related to the products in the inventory, the application makes a call to the database, putting description for the product and other parameters distilled from the user request. The call to the database returns back with top five products from the inventory matching the request. The database call, connection, and format are designed in the application. 
LLM itself doesn't call the database. You need an application or some other tools to do that. Now, we can add that data to the original request and maybe supplement it by the history of the previous conversation and some additional instruction for LLM. When we send that modified augmented prompt to the LLM, it now has all that it needs to answer. It picks up the best match and returns back the description of the item from the store inventory wrapped to a human-like response. We do some safety checks and, uh, on the response before sending it back to the client. Maybe we want to check for offensive words, double verify inventory, etc. And eventually send the final response back to the client. As a result, we are getting more reliable responses where the factual data helps us to avoid hallucination, provide exact information and price from our operational data store, and make the assistant chat application really useful. One small step back to understand how we would find the matching items in our database based on the request. LLM can convert our request or question to a numeric representation, numeric array, based on the semantic meaning of the request rather than used words. We call it a vector. In our operational database, we can also convert the description for the product in the inventory to the similar vectors. Then we compare the vector of our request with all the vectors from, for the products and get five best matches to the return back to our chat application, along with other information about the product, like price, description, or something else. There are different ways to store the vectors and search. In our example today, we are using AlloyDB as our data and vector store. And here is a sample app using the RAC technique and vector search in the inventory. We've tried the app without RAC early, but now we've grounded it with operational data in AlloyDB Omni. Let us try to ask some questions and see how it works now. For this example, our app is running on the Google Cloud Run and back it up by AlloyDB Omni operational database with an inventory of the product, stock, and prices, which has the most up-to-date information. I've chosen the AlloyDB Omni since it can run everywhere, and it is very easy to set up. Behind the scenes, this assistant employs a dual LLM system. Gemini 1.5 Flash handles the natural language response and generation. In parallel, a text embedding model converts both product descriptions and your requests into the vectors, enable efficient similarity search within our product database. Let's ask our assistant to help us find a fun gift. Hello, how can you help me? What would you suggest for a 50 plus years old boy who is real fan of Android and programming. I'm not sure if it can find any toys for a really grown up boy. Look, it has suggested an Android glow in the dark collectible for 21 bucks. And it looks really cool. And we can have a look behind the scenes and see how it handled the request. We can see in the log it recognized the intent and what it should do. Then it converted the request to a query and sent it to the database, returning back the top five products which are available in the inventory and sent all that information with the request back to Gemini, getting the final response. Can it do more? Yes we can try to find a product by showing what we want to find. Let's take one of the toys from the desk and show it to the app. 
and it could find it. Great! Looks like it works. We've seen Gemini and LoDB in action. Gemini did all the work recognizing the questions, understanding the intent, and wrapping up responses to a human-like conversation. And the LoDB was providing information about the inventory and essentially keeping Gemini close to truth and preventing hallucination. The combination of those two Google products can help you to build something useful in real life. The sample app I showed is available in GitHub. Of course, it is not using any real inventory and functionality is limited, but you can try it today and maybe adjust and modify it to different cases. Thanks for watching and have fun with Gemini and AlloyDB.